Only, only this Prime Minister could be quite so smug on the day 140,000 people have lost their jobs. But before turning to the economy, I want to ask the Prime Minister about the tragic death of Baby P. This happened in the same Children's Services Department that was responsible for Victoria Climbier, and yet again, nobody is taking responsibility, nobody has resigned. Does the Prime Minister agree with me that the Haringey inquiry is completely unacceptable? It is being led by Mrs Shoesmith, who is the Council's own Director of Children's Services. Does the Prime Minister agree with me she cannot possibly investigate the failure of her own department? Yeah. Uh, let, let me say first of all, and I believe I speak for the whole country, that people are not only shocked and saddened, but horrified and angered by what they have seen reported about what happened to an innocent 17-month-old boy. Every child is precious, and every child is unique, and every child should have the benefit of support and protection, both from their parents and from the authorities that be. And this tragedy that has arisen because of a violence and torture of a young child, where three have already been found guilty, raises serious questions that we have to address. The first set of questions is being addressed by Lord Laning, who is now looking at social service protection for children in every part of the country. He did the Victoria Climbier inquiry. His recommendations were accepted, I believe, by all parties in this House as being necessary, and he will now look at what needs to be done. The second issue is in Harrogate itself. There is a serious case review. The executive report already says that there have been failings and weaknesses in the system. The full report has now arrived with the Children's Secretary this morning. It is now for the government to take action, and we will make a decision about what procedures and what processes we will adopt in relation to Haringey. And I believe that is the right thing to do, both national review and local action. But, but uh, let me ask the Prime Minister again about the local review. Sharon Shoesmith, who is carrying this out, said... What, what, Honourable members should worry about this. This is a local authority that has completely failed. What she said is that her service, and I quote, her service had worked effectively. Now, the children's minister, the prime minister's own children's minister, said very recently many areas set up their safeguarding board with the local director of children's services as the chair. That is something, frankly, that does concern me. So let me ask him again. Isn't it unacceptable that the person who runs the children's services department is responsible for looking into what her own department did? Yeah. Mr Speaker, the procedure that was created uh, after the uh, inquiry by Laming said that local authority directors of children's services and local members had to accept the responsibility. We created lo local safeguarding children's boards. I am answering the question. And that is to safeguard the children in the area. When uh, an incident like this happens, which is so tragic, a report has got to be done. That special report is submitted to the Secretary of State for Children. The report has arrived on his desk this morning. We have already got the executive summary, which was published yesterday, which identified weaknesses in the system. The decision will be then made about what to do in relation to Haringey and what procedures that have to be followed. And I do believe, I do believe there was all party support for the Laming report when it was done. And this is the right way forward. I asked a straightforward question and there's absolutely no answer. It, just on the most, on the most basic uh, please allow the Right Honourable Gentleman to be heard. I, I, I will not do us shouting across the chamber after this terrible news has come to us. It is best to let the Right Honourable Gentleman speak. Uh, uh, order, I have made a decision and no one will defy the Chair. The Right Honourable Gentleman. I tell you what is shameful, and that is trying to shout down someone who is asking reasonable questions about something that has gone wrong. Let's be honest, this is a story about a 17-year-old girl who had no idea how to bring up a child. It's about a boyfriend who couldn't read but could beat a child. And it's about a social services department that gets £100 million a year and can't look after children. Yeah. That's what this is about. Yeah. Now, look, in the case of failing schools, we take them over. This, this department in Haringey, one in four positions for social workers is completely vacant. They do nothing to help struggling local schools that are failing, and another child has been beaten to death. Will the Prime Minister, I don't expect an answer now, you never get one, but will he at least, will he at least, will he at least consider 
consider whether time has come to take over this failing department and put someone in charge who can run it properly for our children. Yeah. Mr Speaker, I think we are both agreed this is a tragic and serious loss of life that has got to be investigated properly so that all the lessons can be learned. I think he would agree that appointing Lord Laning to go around the country to look at what is happening in each area so that we are assured of what is happening is the right thing to do. And I think he's got to accept that the executive summary that has already been published uh, from the inquiry that has been done in, Har in, in, in Haringey shows that there are weaknesses that exist. So there is an admission of weaknesses that have got to be addressed. We have received the full report this morning. We will act on it quickly. We will do it in the right way so that we come to the judgments that are necessary to protect children in the future. I do regret making a party political issue of this issue. I do, reg I do regret that because I think. Because order, order. The Prime Minister is in order. The Prime Minister. Because I, think, because I think the whole country shares the outrage, the whole country wants to see action, and the whole country will support the action that is taken both nationally and in relation to Haringey. I think what the Prime Minister said just now is frankly cheap. I'm not making... I asked some perfectly reasonable questions about a process that's wrong, and I'd ask the Prime Minister to withdraw the attack that that was about party politics. Mr Speaker, I'm, I'm absolutely clear about this. There is common ground on both sides of the House, and we should, max, we should maximise our agreement on these issues about this very sad and tragic case. We have taken action immediately to set up an independent inquiry. That independent inquiry under Lord Haming, who has got a great deal of expertise in this issue, is one that I believe all people will support. Action is going to be taken in relation to Haringate because we have just received the full report and the executive summary has already identified the weaknesses. We have acted immediately after the end of the court case and we will continue to take the action because what really matters is the protection of young children in every part of the country. You accuse me of party politics about this. My apologies, my apologies, Mr. Speaker. He no, accused I'll, I'll me. I, I appeal to the House again. It is not a good thing at this time, when we have heard this news about a little child who has gone before us, that we should be shouting across the chamber. Let the leader of the opposition speak, and also. Well, if the Leader of the House lets me do my job, and she can do her job... So ticking off a Harry at Harman, then? Let the, the Leader of the Opposition speak, and also <laughs> the Prime Minister. The Leader of the Opposition. Thank you, Mr Speaker. All I'm asking is the Prime Minister accused me of party politics. I did not mention who runs this council. Yeah? I didn't mention who ran it when Victoria Klimbeye was tragically killed. All I ask for is the Prime Minister withdraws his accusation that in any way I was playing party politics and not asking a perfectly reasonable question about a tragic case and I was putting to him a point made by his own children's secretary. So I ask him one more time, please just withdraw that I was playing party politics. He knows I wasn't. Mr Speaker, I, I think the whole House will now want to find unity around these three things. First of all, first of all, that this tragic incident has got to be investigated in every possible way. Secondly, the Lord Laming review is the right review, the right inquiry to have. And thirdly, now that the full case review has arrived at the Children's Secretary, he will take the action that is necessary. Now, I hope the whole House can agree that these are the right things, and we are doing the right things to get the right answer. Yeah. Obviously, the Prime Minister doesn't feel able to withdraw what he said. Let me, let me just ask him one more time on the, on the central point, which doesn't just apply in Haringey, but may well be a problem elsewhere, as his own children's minister has said, that we have a system that allows directors of children's services to examine the conduct of their own department. This is wrong in every other walk of life. This must be wrong in social services where we're dealing with the most difficult and sensitive decisions. So will he at least take away what his children's spokesman has said and say you should not investigate your own conduct? It's simple. Give a pledge. Yeah. Yeah. 
Mr Speaker, it is an independent report that is going to be done. The local safeguarding children's board have got a responsibility. They've got a responsibility to coordinate safe, safeguarding action for children. The Lord Laming report will be independent. It will be done in a way that will review the findings since the Victoria Climbier case. And again, I'm sorry that he doesn't recognise that the action that we have taken has been immediately, immediately after the court case. We've set up an independent inquiry under Lord Laming. We have now the report just arrived this morning on the case review itself. That report will be acted on immediately. And surely it is in the interests of all of us to think of a young child and what we can do to make sure this does not ever happen again. Yeah.